Hello everyone and welcome to my project ideas channel. Today I will tell you how to use Tinkercade platform for Arduino projects. So for this go through this website. After it you need to sign in then create a personal account then go ahead with sign in with Google then create on circuits and after it create a new circuit. Now let me show you how exactly it will work. So for it simply paste the link tinkercade.com press enter and the amazing part is that you can also access this from your mobile phone or tablet so next process is sign in personal account sign in with google after this go ahead with circuits then click on create new circuit. Now, let, this is a platform. From the top left side, you can edit the name of the project. So, for example, I'm writing as demo over here. After it, in this right side, you can see components basic like resistor, LED, push button, potentiometer, capacitor, battery and all such will become over here. If you will click on it, you will get a few more options like starters, Arduino, all. So simply click on all and you will get everything over here. And you can also use the search button to search for example, I want to search for Arduino. So I have typed Arduino. So all these Arduino circuits are over here. Now uh, to code this you have to press this code. As you can see I haven't pasted anything over here. So it is showing that no programmable components in this circuit. So let us see for example this is blink. So I'm, I have clicked on it. Now I am pasting it over here. So now we have one circuit, a simple circuit is ready. Now when I will press on code, it will show me something like this. So what I have to do is, I have to simply press on this blocks and instead of this blocks and text, I have to move ahead with this text only. It will show that are you sure? Press on continue. And over here, this is our C++ by default code will be there. So let me edit a few things over here you have to edit the code according to your circuit so over here my pin mode uh, over here you can see this is the 13 pin number to which this is connected so I am writing 13 over here and the same way I am editing over here as well this is just for the demo purpose you have to edit as per your circuit so now to run this code, I have to press on the start simulation. After pressing, it will show initializing and as you can see over here, our circuit is working as per our code. Over here, in this void setup function, we have configured our pin mode 13 as you can see over here for the output purpose and in this void loop function which keeps on looping, we have, write, uh, we have written the 13 number pin for high for one second that is 1000 milliseconds this is the delay function and after it we are again writing it low for one second so in this way our circuit is working as well now to stop the simulation you have to press on the stop simulation you can edit the code as well over here and if you don't want the circuit then simply press click click it and delete it it will show you that are you sure press on ok and it will be deleted now in the same way we can also delete the other components now this is our LED for example if you want to rotate it then simply press on this rotate you can rotate this if you want to flip it then press over here it will be flipped 
Now, if by mistake you have done something and you want to undo the changes, then these are the arrows that you that you can use it. Now, if you want to place something else over here, for example, like I want to put, uh, I want this ultrasonic distance center, then simply press on it and paste it over here. So, in this way, you can use this Tinkerkit platform to perform all of your Arduino related projects. And apart from Arduino as well, there are many sensors also available. So in this way, you can use our uh, Tinkerkit platform. Hope you will like it. Thank you. Have a nice day.